Da 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 da. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Thanksgiving is a special time. <laughs> I got my sweet potatoes burling. Because I make an excellent sweet potato pie. I mean, the best. It is so good. You know, a lot of people make sweet potato pie and it's kind of mushy. It's not as firm as pumpkin pie. Nope, not with me. Mine's just as firm as pumpkin pie. And it's a spicy little thing. I like to spice it up. So, anyways, I literally, I, I put cayenne pepper in it. Uh, if you want to know, hey, honestly, I wasn't thinking of doing this. But yeah, I should do this. If you want to know how to make my sweet potato pie... In the next few days, probably, I will actually make a sweet potato pie recipe and put it on my other channel, which is just simply my name, Bodie Pennington, B-O-E-D-Y. Some of you guys have subscribed to that channel. I do a lot of cooking. I do all kinds of stuff on that. And it also has a lot of footage of what has been done here at the ranch. But this is just a happy Thanksgiving, okay? Video, I got a few things in the mail that came late last night. No, uh, Pat, if you're watching, I did not get uh, the 281 XP that you built for me. I didn't, but I did get a different chainsaw. But first thing up on the list, look at this. I got Trace flat uh, file for square filing a chain. These are, I believe, preferred. They got that little dog jumping through a loop or whatever it is, horse jumping through a loop. I don't know what they are, if they're preferred or not. I don't know. But I got them. I got three of them too also. So we are going to try to do some uh, hand file, square file uh, chains. We're going to try it. We're going to give it a shot. Eventually. I don't know when. Uh, the other thing is this. So I've been, you know, you've seen, I've been doing a lot of videos. Uh, you can probably guess what this is. It's a big long bar, right? But I've been doing a lot of videos with that 36 inch bar. Uh, well, that 36 inch bar is not mine. That belongs to the uh, Farm Max 660 clone, which belongs to my buddy Andreas, which he's just letting me keep it a little bit extra long so that I can get some good videos out of it. But eventually he will take that back and I need a 36 inch bar because those, my 32 inch bar will not stretch all the way across that big chunk of wood. Oh, come on. So what did I choose? Oh, now you can't tell from that. I chose something cheap, but it's still cool. I personally have never liked the look of these laser bars. Damn. This is the first time I've ever had one in my hands, I believe. The finish of it is really nice. And uh, this is not their nice one. They they have some made by um, Sumura, right? And it'll have the the laser logo on there. But I don't I don't know if this is no. It says made in China. It says it right on there, made in China. But uh, has the nice big circular oiler hole instead of the the little like sort of teardrop shape angled in hole. So it means it should flow for more oil. But yeah, this is 114 drive links, 36 inch bar, 3 8 pitch 050 gauge. So this will completely take the place of that steel bar. Oh, and it is a D025 um, steel mount. I really liked 
Uh, that was the first time I ever did that. I, I purposefully, I, I got the adapters. I bought that steel bar for Andreas's 660 clone. And I was like, well, okay, I'm going to adapt it to work on these Huskies and stuff. And it was really nice having a bar that worked with everything. It, it was really nice. Uh, it's not a perfect thing. You know, I had to cut it out here and everything and, and you know, make it work. But I'll do that with this one. And this will be the bar that I use if I have to meal something. This will be the bar that I use if I want to test out a 36-inch you know, do a races like I've been doing. And it'll be the bar I reach for if I need a 36 inch bar. So that's that. There you go. All right, the final bit of the mail call today. Mm. I'm sorry, it's not the final bit. No, 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 there's one more after this. But this to me is the most exciting bit. This was sent to me by John Collett. He's a viewer of the channel, and he's uh, he's got a Facebook page. Shoot, man, I need to think better about this. I think it's called John, or it's JC, right, for John Collett. JC Work Saws, or Jake's JC Saw Shop. He's got a page on, on Facebook. And he posted a picture... That had me close. I mean, man, it, it, it just looked so good. I am a very visual person. I know that a lot of you guys are not. You think a chainsaw is there to be worked and it doesn't, it shouldn't look pretty. Well, I like my saws to look pretty. And that's all there is to it right there. I like a pretty chainsaw. Doesn't make them perform any better, I know, I know. But, hey, whatever, I like it. Boy, that's some good cardboard right there. You wrapped it up good because you know this, this, these are not easy to come by. <laughs> ah! So yeah, John sent this as a donation to the channel. Get it out, Bodie. Come on. When in doubt, whip it out. <laughs> so this is a Sumara bar. 16 inch, hooks for on a small mount. So I will <laughs> not use this much. I gotta say, I, 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 not certain that I'll ever use it. I don't know. This is just so nice. And this will definitely go on some saws whenever I want an excellent picture. <laughs> but I gotta say, I don't know if I'll ever actually put it in the wood. I don't know. These are too hard to come by and it's, it's just so nice. But I gotta say though, I do know myself and I use stuff like this. I think that, I think that they're made to be used. And keeping it in pristine condition is kind of silly. But, ah, this is so nice. It would look so good on one of my John Sereds. Um, and just sit there, you know? And that's what I may do. I may do that. So it's a 16 inch um, 058 gauge and it's a 3 8 pitch bar setup. What I'll probably do, I've, I've already got another one of these coming, but it's not a Johnson Red branded. It's a regular Sumura. And um, 
What I'll probably do is I'll remove the tip from this and put a 325 tip on. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. But probably put a 325 tip on this and a 325 chain and just put it on one of my uh, John's Reds that I want just to look pretty and be awesome, you know, and just have it sitting off to the side. And this 3 8 tip I'll use on the other bar that I got coming. And that's actually probably going to go on the, uh, the Red Max because I actually have some plans of making the Red Max and my actual 50cc race saw. Um, I don't know if I'll see that through or not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But with this right here, though, God, that is just gorgeous. Few, it looks like it's got some... A few little tiny scuffs, but not not much at all. Nothing, nothing really. But isn't that lovely? Thank you, John. Thank you. Gosh, so many people, man, have sent me some cool stuff, and I am so grateful. I really am. It's it's just awesome. You know, you you guys hear it said a lot. Oh, the chainsaw community is so awesome. Blah blah blah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So, yeah. Maybe this will go on the uh, 22, I'm sorry, the 2055 I have. I'll clean it up real good and just have it sitting on display looking like a badass. Then uh, every now and then I'll put it on my 2258 just to showcase Here's what a good looking saw <laughs> looks like. Uh, but anyways, that's enough for this video. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. And I got videos pumping out all day today and all day tomorrow. So a lot of people have been asking about <clears throat> the, uh, a few people, the, the steel 400 with the 36 inch bar on it. So I got footage of that. Uh, we will put it against the Echo. We'll put it against um, the 2165. John Red 2165 that I picked up when I went to the race in Alabama. Um, I won't tell you how it did. I want so bad to give all kinds of little hints and everything. <laughs> uh, but just, I shouldn't. Um, but it's a nice saw. I like that saw. I do. But <laughs> it was $1,100. With the 25-inch bar, the 25-inch lightweight bar, it was more than $1,100. And if you're watching this video at this point, you're my faithful. You're the ones that always hang in there and watch the videos and stuff, so... Uh, I won't tell you if it went won or lost or anything like that. But eleven hundred dollars. I will say this: it does not, does not bring the heat that I think an eleven hundred dollar saw should. It just doesn't. I understand why I purchased it. I got this channel. It people are interested in it. It's a cool, cool, cool saw. But for that much money, I just I just I can't fathom it. I, I, that's a lot of money, guys. Like, I, 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 seriously, I bet you, I, I don't know. Probably have to muffler mod it. I, what I was going to say is, I bet you a, a good and broken in Echo 620, I bet you with a long bar, with that 36 inch bar test. 
I bet you a 620 would beat it, but I think the 620 would probably have to have a muffler mod, I think. But you know, the 620, you can get that. I don't, I think you can get a 620 for like 649 bucks, something like that. Something close, right there, something close. And as far as weight goes, you know, everybody complains about the 620 being a big fat pig for a, for a 60cc saw. And I am right there with them. It, it, it is, it's oversized. Uh, but whenever you put it up against the steel 400, they're roughly the same size. I mean, if anything, I bet you the steel is probably a little bit heavier. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But I'm, I'm, I look at that right there. I look at that and I go, how, how does steel charge so much? That's their marketing. I mean, that 400 is awesome, but it should also be a $650 saw with a 20 inch bar. That's what it should be. It should be a $650 saw, but it's not, <laughs> it's a thousand dollars. And I'm just like, what the F? Would I rather have that saw than a 620P? Yep. Yep. I would rather have that saw. But the 400's got a plastic handle on it. Damn, you know? It's got a plastic handle on it. And to buy the, the aluminum handle, shit, it's like 200 bucks. <laughs> what, what? I really want the aluminum handle for that. I do, I want it bad. I, I, I want the full wrap. You know, to me, getting the three quarter wrap in, uh, uh, or the, the standard wrap in aluminum, that's kind of pointless. But if I could have the, the aluminum wrap for that 400, oh God, it looks so cool. And you just heard me say that I'm a looks guy. I know I am definitely a looks guy. I, I, I like when my shit looks good, you know? Oh, Tim, Tim out in Iowa, he, he, uh, he just recently got a 49 SP. A John's Red 49 SP, and he was saying, is you know, in his opinion, one of the best looking saws ever made. Right there with you, brother. I mean, that saw the 70, the John's Red 70E. It looks good too. It's like a bigger version of the 49 SP, but it doesn't look as good as the 49 SP. The 49 SP, the dimensions are just spot on. The 70 is a little bit too big. The 49 is perfect it looks so stunning that briggs and Stat stratton style starter cover recoil oh it looks so good so good so yeah i mean maybe i'll clean up my 49 sp and let this camp out on it you know Boop. and just have that thing just sitting on a shelf looking like a superstar <laughs> i mean you know Anyways, yeah, as nice as the steel MS400 is, I don't get it. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. I, I mean, I do. It's marketing. It's marketing. But man... I bought my 2165 for 250 bucks. Now, I know that not everybody can get good deals like that. That's a rare deal. I got a good one. But even if you bought that saw off of eBay, used, in great shape, you're still getting that saw for half the price of an MS400. And yeah, in my opinion, the 2165 or the Husqvarna uh, 365 is a better saw than the 400. It's, it, it's not like an equivalent. It's better, in my opinion. But then again, my 400 hasn't broken in. I've got to completely stock and all that stuff. But no, it's better. The 365 with the original cylinder on it. Um, it's better. 
capable of, whenever you port it, I guarantee it's going to be capable of putting out more power. Um, probably capable of putting out more RPMs. So the 400, as awesome as it is, it's just the price. That's it. It is an awesome saw that is priced almost double what it should be. That's, I mean, it, it, if they sold that saw for 650 bucks, no one would buy the 620p. No one would buy the uh, 562xp. You know, they'd be buying the steel 400. But, ah, drives me nuts. I mean, it's a really nice saw, but not for $1,100.